In this American Truck Simulator video, we're doing another grand gift delivery, and this time it's in the Western Star 4800. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're doing another grand gift delivery, and this time we're using the Western Star 4800. And as promised, I do actually have my CB hooked up today. So it's a little handheld CB. And as you can see here over in the uh, the top screen over there, it's uh, it's actually a little bit hard to see, isn't it? But you can see it. Now, um, I did figure out that I'm not, I need to be get a better aerial for this, okay? So I'm not getting a uh, very good signal up here. Now I'm on top of a mountain, which is really weird, so I should be getting awesome signal. But for some reason, it's not getting, you know, good signal. So every now and then we will get something, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So today, 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 we're going from Albuquerque to Clovis, which is 273 miles, well above the 150 mile limit that we have to do. So uh, should be quite easy and uh, since it's grand gift delivery time it's uh, it sh yeah it should be easy to do now number three this will be number four of six before we and then we'll be finished for American trucks so that should be great I'm really excited to finish it for American trucks I really am now let's get this rigger rolling And I'll jump inside the cab, and I'm going to... I don't know why I have... I don't know why I have those, um... Just turn my mic volume down. It's rumbling a bit. I don't know why I have, uh... My GPS up there, because I never use the damn thing. I only use this one here. So, it's, uh... It's weird. Weird. Alright, let's... Let's go take that trailer brake off. There we go... Now I gotta see if I can get past this here. It's a bit of an obstacle. Oh geez, that's actually Yeah, that just misses it. Well, I actually went through it, but that's alright. No damage. No ding, no fling or whatever it is, I don't know. Just trying to fix my volume there. It's the it's making noises, crackling noises. There we go. Urgh. There we go, nice and easy. Right, so whereabouts are you on the grand gift deliveries? Now I've seen Rahim is actually on par with me he's doing doing them alongside with me um, so good on you Rahim that's very good now um, he's on his YouTube channel so uh, if you want to check out some more grand gift deliveries head over to uh, his channel uh, what is it Rahim Rahim's oh, damn it I did a plug and I stuffed it <laughs> Sorry guys, I'll put a link in the description to his channel for you. That way you can go and check that out too. Alright. Now, away we go. I'm just going to swing that round there and I need to turn. Ah. Oh. I need to turn down there. That's going to be a bit of a bummer. This reminds me of a uh, a song. <laughs> oh dear. Give me 40 acres <laughs> and I'll turn this rig around. <laughs> look, nobody's letting me through, eh? Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, look, I'm going to wipe you out, car, because you never let me through. How about that? Yeah, it's... Get in gear, damn it. 
Yeah, very old song, that one. By the Willis Brothers. I don't think many of you young folks would know who they are. Now, let's see. We are... We are... It's turning here. It looks like we're turning down here. And then we're going over this way. These clover leaves, man, they are so confusing. They, you know, the... It's just, we got nothing like this here in Australia. Not this huge. This is like crazy. How can you drive around this? You'd get lost. I, I'd get, I seriously would get lost and end up, I'd need to take a packed lunch just to go to work. I would move away from this. If I had to drive through this every day, I would shift home. <laughs> because I'd get lost. And every day getting lost, that's a bit too much. Now, um, yes, this is a, uh, this is the Western Star 4800, an RTA mods truck. It's been a while since I've used this, actually. Um, I've actually got, um, most of RTA mods trucks on this profile that I use, so... Um, it's, they're pretty cool. I like it. Uh, a lot of people do actually like the 4800. And uh, it drives well. It's, you know, got the RTA Mods formula in there. It works well. So, and um, guys, look, I really don't care. I've been, people have been sending me messages saying that I'm actually going to go to hell because, um, I'm using an illegal, that, that I'm actually using uh, an illegal product for American Truck Simulator and that I should uh, I should really go to church and do something or rather I don't know there's something uh, pray for my sins or something like that is what it was was the uh, one of the messages you said to me so um, I really don't care this is this is RTA mods gave me a copy of this right the trial out and you know i don't care if you think it's immoral i don't care if you think my soul's going to hell i really just don't care so um if you're gonna send me messages like that guys you know it goes straight in the bin so why waste your time okay just just letting everybody know because the idea of junior senior gaming is not to be concerned about if a truck is you know immoral or, or whatever but to review it okay now if it's going to upset too many people like as in uh, modders if it's an illegal version of a mod no we won't re review that okay so um, like as in I mean like somebody's stolen it from the modder and claimed it as their own uh, we won't review that if I find out that that's what the case is I probably have accidentally in the past but to be honest guys I don't care either way you know but um, I've had a lot of people that have had uh, asked me to review their mod and I go oh yeah sure no worries what what is it oh it's a stolen version of an RTA mods truck uh, no not not gonna review it so one I don't want to upset RTA mods we're good friends so you know upsetting them is not on my list of things to do anyway it's it's for some reason it's a real sensitive subject in the community about RTA mods and I, I don't understand why I really don't understand why and for all those people who say that they haven't paid for it legally you really need to do your research before you start boasting like that so um, you know because obviously you don't have the information you just don't have the right information and I, I've spoken to these guys many many times and they've said yes we've done it correctly we've done it by the law and everything so we're perfectly fine so and they've been doing it for how many years now and not had a problem so there we go I just, I just think that it's un, unjust that people are, you know, 
the way they just bash RTA mods, I really do. So, but anyway, each to their own opinion. Uh, we try and review what we can at Junior Senior Gaming, as long as it doesn't upset any modders. That's what I'm worried about, upsetting modders. Wow. Uh, but anyway, there we go. Now that that's out of the road, I don't know, I thought of, I, I really felt I had to talk about that today because I've just been getting so many people sending me messages like that and, and really just want to let you know I don't care. Oh, we're turning here. Ah! <laughs> oh man. That could be scary when you're doing that. It really could. Alright. Winding it down because we're coming up to uh coming up to a turn. And here we go. Look, there's a helicopter. Cyrus the virus's uh, trailer pack. That's pretty cool. Right. There's another one. Look, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. There's a house we're following from Cyrus the virus's. Uh, that was actually from my pick of the um, the mod that I wanted to, uh, to my well my favourite trailer pack for the year, and it was Cyrus the Virus's trailer pack. So, bus, Chung. Now CB is on, but it's not. Doesn't seem to be much coming through. So. I wonder if I touch the aerial, does that help? Don't know. You know how with old radios, you hold the aerial, you touch the aerial and you get better signal? <laughs> That's what I was thinking along the lines of. <coughs> now, 55 it's meant to be through here. But this guy is obviously having a bit of difficulty. So let's see. Oh, last night I worked. Uh, pretty, pretty boring last night. Not a lot happens um, every night. You know, sometimes it's it's quiet. Like last night, it was just quiet. Not many people on the road and. Not much happened. CB chatter was pretty minimal. I think um, one of the things I, I'd ask my boss, if he ever gets me another truck, I'm going to ask him if he can put a, a proper CB in there with a decent aerial. Decent antenna because um, that way you can get some pretty, you know, pretty good um, signals. <coughs> pretty good chatter of what's going on. Oh, actually, no. Last night, I remember. Gee, I come flying around the corner just outside of Gatton. And um, it was a, a little bit down the road past uh, Plainland. For those of you who know the area. And a car had just gone straight off the road, a four-wheel drive. I don't know what happened. But he was off into the bushes and, um, yeah. It was like ages out. He was about, say... Uh, 20, maybe 30 metres out of the actual, off the road into the bushes. So, didn't, he didn't actually, well, he didn't hit any trees, which was lucky. He missed, missed like a heap of stuff. So, it must have been the luckiest day of his life, really. Get into damn gear. Yeah, but when I got there, the actual cops were there, the meat wagon was there, they had the towies were there. So, um, you know, they were all there on the scene. And they were just pulling the guy out then, so obviously he didn't, I don't know, what he, dodging something? That's what it might have been. 
because I notice that there's a lot of um, uh, hares out at the moment that way. Yeah, like little rabbit things, dod diving around, darting around. So maybe he dodged one of those. <coughs> I suppose it's diff it's different in a car. Is if you hit a hare in a car, it's gonna do a lot of damage. If you hit one in a truck, it's not gonna do much damage. <laughs> Just keep going. Alright, gotta slow it down because we're going through a town area. By the time we get down to that speed. It's, uh, yeah, 55, there we go, didn't it? Yeah, it got down to that speed and it was too late, 55, oh well. Um, let's see, what else? I went to, um, I actually saw this little pop-up shop just, you know, like in a little caravan. Yeah, I popped out of the uh, on the side of the road last night, and I thought, oh yeah, that's a kebab shop. I'm going to give that a go. So I gave, I bought one, and then I was eating, and I'm going, I did ask for some stuff on here, sauce and that, and it was like dry as anything. Ah, it's like eating sandpaper. Kebabs, it doesn't matter. When you're drunk, kebabs taste absolutely awesome. Any which way that you have it, whether it's dry or, or whatever, it doesn't matter. It still tastes awesome because you've got enough booze in you where it doesn't matter. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to taste great. So, uh, but I don't know. This, this must have been one of those... Um, must have been one of those guys that, uh, you know... I've tested it. I've tested this recipe on a whole heap of people, and uh, you know they think it's really great. Uh, it doesn't matter that they were actually blind, rotten, drunk when uh, you know they, we tested it. But we tested it on a whole heap of people. <laughs> That's what I reckon it was. Oh, mate. Oh, jeez. I was a bit far over on that lane. 45 and we're doing 30 so that's all right oh we've been through here before that's right I remember that horse and well the carriage back there coming over east on 60 see that was that was amazing the CB was working it was uh, on prior to I tested it prior to the actual uh, recording and now there's no chatter there's no chatter at all might actually have a look at how much a base station costs because then I might be able to permanently hook that up buy a small base station maybe we'll see how it goes and uh, hook that up and then put an a aerial outside uh, an antenna outside on the uh, side of the house you know one of those because uh, base station you can buy a pretty damn good antenna and um, one of those big white ones actually you know I could probably make my own antenna just need a heap of copper wire and uh, I can use, uh, what is it, a PVC pipe with caps on each end and um, yeah some alfoil in there as well. I'll have to, I'll have to do a research, do some research I think. see what I can buy versus what I can make I remember when I was a lot younger um, I wanted to um, make sort of this is when Wi-Fi was uh, only new I wanted to make uh, a couple of my signal stronger 
so that I could reach my mate's place. So what I did is I've got a couple of Pringles cans and I put copper wire in there and, and then um, connected that, bought the network connection, soldered it all up and uh, ended up making myself my own Wi-Fi, an omnidirectional Wi-Fi antenna. So back then, I mean, that was, you know, pretty cutting edge, but today it's pretty crap, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, it still did the job and you know we had we got pretty good signal actually it saved us running a cord because we were um, I was living in units then and uh, we, we originally ran a cord going across and the cord kept falling down during the middle of the night so we tried some few different things, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Only problem with the Wi-Fi was we had, kept getting interference here and there. So we ended up going back to the cable and then we just nailed it to the roof. <laughs> and when we left, we removed it. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Right, there we go. Now, we're in Clovis already. Oh, damn it, I haven't taken any photos, have I? Let's see if I can uh, take some photos. Hopefully some nice ones. And I'll use those for thumbnails, like I always do. Oh, look, all the traffic's gone too. <laughs> I love that when that happens. Oh man, oh that's a nice shot there, right there. Very nice, very nice. I like it, I like it a lot. Not so good, but I'm going to take it anyway. And what about this side, what do we got over this side? That's okay, okay. Variety of shots. That's what you need. Oh, look, all the traffic's gone. How did that happen? <laughs> That's That was funny. All the traffic disappeared. That's how you get the traffic to disappear when you want the traffic to, to go away. Is that... That's red. Hard to see for some reason. Oh, there we go. That's the traffic light. There you go, there's the CB. CB just worked. Not that we understood what anyone said, but anyway. Don't worry about the gutter. That's all good. Let's see if I can... If that helps if I touch the antenna. I don't think it will. I think it works a lot better in the truck, the CB, because um, I'm up higher. Although I'm up in the mountain here at the moment, so that should be okay. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not a CB expert. But I might see if I can look at a base, maybe a base station for here. That might be might be helpful is that speed limit say 40 is that in 40 kilometers or is that going to creep forward and all these cars just coming from nowhere all of a sudden they're traveling to the same spot like it's a busy street or something it's all right I'm going now Clovis
Clovis. Welcome to Clovis, everybody. And here's where we're dropping off our load. Yeehaw! Well, no accidents, no big problems, just a nice delivery. That's what we want. Oh, I hate it. I'm waiting for him to pass and he doesn't, he stops. Oh, AI in this game, just nuts. Alright, here we are. We've delivered here before. In Clovis. And yes, we'd like to deliver there, thank you. And we also delivered, to, we've delivered heaps of times to this prefab. spin it round. Whoa! Too far. I went too far. Come on. Put it in one. There we go. And hopefully that'll go straight back. So just got to remember nice and easy. Not too fast. And you should be right. And I'm just going to go forward and straighten that up. But that is nice and straight now. Straight-ish. And I've just gone and messed it up. That's all right, I can fix it. And there we go, trailer brake on. And that is another successful delivery for the grand gift deliveries so that's great put that down there we go and synchronizing yes excellent done done diddly un there we go right now let's have a look and that is number four there we go so it's kicked over yay so there we go guys another grand gift delivery two more to go for American Truck Simulator and that is it we are finished with American Truck Simulator and then we just have Euro Truck Simulator to go so very very cool well that is pretty much it for me today guys I hope you enjoyed today's drive remember next week we will be starting mod reviews so I, well, I know I think I did mention this week I actually mentioned meant to say next week is what I was going to be doing it so Next, next Wednesday, I will be starting to do some mod reviews for you guys. Back into the mods again, and we'll be checking out all those exciting things for American trucks and Euro trucks, which you guys love. So we'll be doing that next week, so stay tuned. Um, but that, yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. Look, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then oh, oh my mic. Make sure you uh, head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Good night, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs>